The leadership of the national dialogue has appealed to the African Union to run South Sudan elections after completion of the three years transitional period. The rapporteur of the National Dialogue, Bona Malwal, stated this during a meeting with representatives of African ambassadors in Cuba on Thursday. We have decided as a National Dialogue that instead of taking the risk that our people go to compete over the election and perhaps even go back to war, why not appeal to the AU that as an election mechanism, to use its election mechanism to run this election. If the AU accepts it, the AU has to make sure that uh, there is peace and security in the countryside. The AU senior political officer, Meshhud Isaka, expressed AU's readiness to support South Sudan to hold a peaceful election. Isaka confirmed the participation of AU leadership in the National Dialogue Conference via video due to COVID-19. Some of the participation, even if it is possible, will be via the video, video conferencing. However way it, it happens, it is still useful to have those voices. IGAD senior political advisor Dr. Philip Mawana Nika reiterated the regional bloc's commitment to support the National Dialogue Conference, which he describes as important to the reconciliation and healing process, as well as in restoration of a lasting peace. Um, the National Dialogue to me is, is, is a sequential uh, element of, of life. And you're right, we need to bring and strengthen this trust. So I think this is a good process and uh, we stand uh, behind this. The leadership of the National Dialogue Steering Committee have also used the meeting as an opportunity to invite the non-signatory to the peace agreement to take part in the National Dialogue Conference. Under the certain role initiative, I want to call upon them to contact me, those who are interested, to develop interest in the National Dialogue, and meet them anywhere so that we organize how they can come and participate in the national dialogue and be the president and the body so that they are safe. The security do not arrest them. The representatives of the ambassadors are expected to convey invitations of the national dialogue leadership to their presidents to attend the opening ceremony in November. For SSBC, I'm Emmanuel Patrick, Jiva.